other comments to make and then some of them I'll just leave it for your uh, choosing. Uh, all right. These are in no particular order here. But uh, let, me, let me ask this question. This was handed to us. What is the best way to handle move-ins from other churches or oneness movements when their standards, teachings, etc., are different from the local church? The best way to handle move-ins from other churches that may not share the same convictions as to standards and that kind of thing. Uh, any of you, brother? Brother Holly, why don't you start it off on that if you'd care to? Just take one of those mics. Uh, actually, I think it would be a, a very appropriate thing and a profitable thing to uh, have a counseling session with them as early as possible and uh, explain to them those areas that uh, may be uh, different and uh, the reasoning for your position. I have found that people uh, do not mind adjusting to different um, standards if they understand the reasoning behind it. And uh, you can explain the, your position without uh, speaking in a disparaging pattern uh, regarding uh, others or wherever they came from, you're, you're in a position to where uh, you can explain in a positive way the position that you hold uh, by so doing, you save them some embarrassment. If they get into a situation where they feel that they have to defend uh, some practice that they're that they're doing or not doing as the case may be uh, then they kind of uh, solidify themselves in that position and uh, the, the, the upfront counseling enables them to ask questions that perhaps they're wondering about because sometimes it uh, the, she works two ways a fellow feels real strongly in one area and uh, he sees that these people are not quite living in compliance with what he would hold to in one area. Uh, there may be another area where it would appear to them that you're quite lax. And therefore, a little bit of counseling would enable them to uh, adjust and adjust much better. I've also pointed out, if I may take another second minute to you, I've also found that sometimes one of the uh, best approaches at uh, persuasion is uh, to point out that we grow when we're able to adapt to new situations, uh, whether we understand them or not on the surface. If the love of Christ can constrain us to adjust for the work of the church, for the sake of the church, then uh, there's not much of a problem you gain an open mind and if you've got a good valid position it's easy to explain or easier I should say I think it ought to be up front and uh, casual without any critical comments uh, positive from your own standpoint uh, with as little left over for the area they came from as possible all right very good brother Holly uh, Brother Payne, Brother Kilgore, Brother Pew, would you like to add anything to that or respond to that? Anything, Brother Kilgore? I uh, would just add, I appreciate what Brother Holly had to say, and I agree 100%. You deal with people like that with patience. Uh, they've never been taught and maybe never been exposed. They've come from an area where they did not have the proper exposure. You have to be careful about uh, putting people like that up for anything. Be patient. Give, uh, give it time. If they really are sincere and mean business, you'll see that they're conforming to your teachings and standards. If not, they'll be gone after a while, probably. But if you push them to the front, well, then you're hurting them and your own people, too. <clears throat> All right.
please like, comment, and subscribe.